Hello boys, and uh, today we're gonna be making another video on the on Elden Ring for sure. This is not a DLC kind of news, kind of like break down details of the, you know, Earth, like Shadow of Earth Tree or whatever. This is a news that where, you know, they feel they, well, they did, you know, uh, interview with the Miyazaki, you know, himself, right? Who's, the, you know, the, the great guy behind the Elden Ring, Dark Souls, Demons or whatever. And there is something interesting that he said on the interview. Uh, you know, apparently some people asked him, like, you know, how did you guys, like, how does, like, from software, right, manage to pull off frequently, const consistently pull off all great quality AAA games? Like, you know, very, very often, right? Uh, that's the, what they uh, that's what they asked Miyazaki himself. And the Miyazaki says something very interesting, which I really want to talk about today, right? Uh, somebody in the comment section also pointed out this kind of, uh, just like the, the this answer, right? This Miyazaki says, I don't know if this is some great secret or not, but generally we're just blessed with great staff who love to create those games and who are, I think you could say, efficient in creating, you know, games. <clears throat> and he asked that we are able to understand quickly what we want to make, are able to make those decisions early on in development. We're able to, you know, I don't even know this word. And we're able to leave the things on the chopping board. We are able to go ahead with ideas and quick, and you know, quick, pace we're able to quick change quickly change and quickly decide on the kind of game we want to make that's the answer the miyazaki gave the ign right give the like why did you guys can like why from software from software in general can manage it pull off constantly great games like it's not just great game it's a fucking masterpiece level of like great you know games right <clears throat> and he says because like i have amazing employees right they all like very passionate about making video games on that one there's two factors I want to point out first, because first of all, if you think I'm from Japan, like look my face, like you think I'm like a Japanese, Japanese, wrong, I'm Chinese. <laughs> so maybe I also don't know what I'm talking about here, but I'm very close. I'm like, you know, relatively like I'm Chinese. So like I'm very close to Japan, like, you know, physically, like at the distance, right? And the, the culture is not that same, but uh, there's only, there's like one aspect of like a, those both countries culture are very same, not just both. And Korea too, not North Korea, South Korea, I mean, by the way. And uh, just like Asia in general, right? <clears throat> it's like, they having some like a very crazy working culture. If you don't know what I'm talking about, right? Uh, yeah, I, I think I get it, right? Uh, I, I have some friends you know, in America and who also complain about, oh my God, the shift and the, the whole schedule of working is so fucking crazy. I don't have time for everything or something like that. I also see that things you know, happening to America, but uh, I don't know about you guys because I never been to America. So I really don't know if you guys just being like a little bit soft, a little bit pussy. <laughs> I don't want to say that. I don't want to piss anyone. All right? I just want to say, all right, like. <clears throat> I don't know if like you guys being exaggerated in Western or like you just like, you know, you also having the same, you know, struggle. Personally, I feel like you also have the same struggle. All right. That's just my opinion. I don't think any uh, like anyone who complains about their job. Sure. There's definitely some percentage of people. <laughs> You know who complain about job because uh you know they they just being soft they just don't want to do that they don't want to put any hard work i get it right i i'm i'm one of them too you know like i complain a lot you know every time my like fucking family tell, ask me like why don't you go out get a job i say hey man like you know world is not the same anymore man like nowadays you got all this like a fucking you know social media fucking you know youtube stuff you know like all these competition physically and mentally and the fucking spiritually like you got all this kind of you know a lot of people you know it's very hard to get a job uh we all know that's you know excuse you know that's the re just just because i say that doesn't mean that actually out there is very hard you know all, out there you know world is always being hard it's throughout those whatever the fucking century right if you were born in 1900, right, fucking, you're gonna be a, you know, World War II. You're gonna face fucking two war wars, man. Just think about that. That's hard. That's what we call it. If you still think you're being very hard on this kind of position, like whatever the job you do, sure, it's a different level of struggle. It's more like a mental. It's also great as like, you know, the physical struggle. When you go back to like Africa, the same struggle, you know, people have different struggle. That's all I want to say. I don't want to say like, oh, you just because you live in the modern city, you live in the modern society, it doesn't mean that everything that you complain about is pussy. No, you, I get it. There is different level of like a struggling, but yeah, Jesus fuck. We're talking about, yeah. Like, uh, you know, China, right? China, Japan, and uh, Korea, 
all this like a, you know South Asia countries, right? They all having the same issue with is like the working culture when you know Miyazaki says like you know we just have some uh, you know amazing staff you know employee. I don't think he tells the truth here. That's not really the reason why they can make you know Elden Ring and the Shadow of uh, you know fucking every game that they make right. It's not because purely they have like great staff. <clears throat> I think uh, even uh, like. On the other hand, the great stuff, like, you know, you have like great employees. That's only the fucking 10% or like even 40% of like the factor, the reason why you make those games. The 60%, like the, the main reason why they can make amazing games like this, because Miyazaki himself being in from software, that's the really reason. That's the only reason I think. I don't know about the like. Maybe it's not Miyazaki himself. Maybe there's other people with him together who are like also being this like a, the the head of like their their company. If you working ever like you know if you ever like made a company where like every manage a small group that you know what I'm talking about. Other group people they only want to work. You know they don't care about what you want to do in next. What, you, what kind of direction you want to head on in the future for your group, for your company, for your organization. They only care about if if you pay them or not all right that's really the crucial fact you know I, i've been working for a lot of you know uh, i don't want to say i've been working for a lot of companies but you know every company that i work for i don't give a fuck about what they want because first of all because the company itself and i probably because i never been to a great company before i never been to like a rock star level like fucking you know whatever like the fucking giant company so uh, there's uh, the system too much right so all this factor right like employees are the least factors employees probably like you know <clears throat> if you want to have like creative you know uh you know staff right worker that's not what we call work anymore work is like you have a plan and they execute your plan they do your plan that's all you know <clears throat> and i think me as hockey the, the, the whole reason why from software you know manages to you know make game like like this right constantly throughout those years is because miyazaki himself or other people who behind those you know titles too you know with miyazaki together and i think that's the only reason you know there's only gonna be five or ten or like four people who are like <clears throat> you know in the company in those kind of company for example like a rockstar right like rockstar has a lot of you know fucking great genius people <clears throat> behind the studio mean you know making games and uh, there there's probably gonna be like 20 even just just 20 you know 20 20 people who are like real the reason why you know they're making this kind of game it's not because how many money they get how many how much m efforts they put into the you know the project is because the people who behind those project the real mean people behind the project, like they have the idea. If you only have a great, you know, uh, like I, I expect it, but yeah, we are just blessed with great staff. Maybe you have a great staff, right? Staff is very important, right? Like you gotta have someone to do your job who love to create those games. They're probably passionate. They're probably like being very a uh, fan of gaming in general, but they don't know how to design a game like you do, like Miyazaki, right? So Miyazaki is the real reason. <clears throat> and the second reason is like those kind of, you know, culture stuff, right? And this is the kind of reason I want to talk about. From software, probably it's not really like, you know, like I, I, you when you play their game, you can tell their budget is not that much compared to like all the American AAA games. I'm not saying you know from software games like are very cheap. They're not very cheap. Uh, as time goes on, it, you know, eventually till this point, you can tell like you know Elden Ring, you know Demons or like Dark Souls, whatever the game they're gonna be making next is you know their budget. They're like the the, the quality of the game, right? The, the visual art, art style, whatever is increasingly goes up and up you know and uh, you know but they're still maintaining their main core which like every time when you you know play their game you feel like that's the kind of game this is very styled the game you know like you don't really have like a lot of animation you don't have a, you don't have a lot of like you know fucking unnecessary stuff like a fucking cussing whatever you know like that's the direction they want to take i'm not saying cussing is not bad and not good and uh, you know that's that's the main core they have still you know even with Elden Ring and which is just like you know <clears throat> they have a very clear vision of what they want to go where they want to take with their games and uh, you know they're not they're not just like uh, instantly oh I just have money let's put into like a fucking this let's put into fucking that you know like they don't do that and that's the reason yeah Jesus what was I talking about Jesus. yeah 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 <clears throat>
Like that's the kind of things. And like it, on front software, it's not even that obvious. That like you know, there's kind of working culture in here, but still very crucial. Like if you ask anyone who has like a working uh, who has worked in the like uh, you know front software or like any giant company, not just in you know gaming in general. They're gonna tell you it's pretty fucking brutal, you know, <clears throat> because like for example, Rockstar, right? You you guys all know that like Rockstar produced amazing fucking game, banger video, you know, banger video games. But you know, I think it's f- few years ago, right? They there's some some leaks news about like you know Rockstar employees complaining about like you know insane working hours in their company. That's just a fact, you know, like, uh, you know, uh, whether you like it or not, because like there's a lot of people in my country, right, who, you know, go to other countries for a living and uh, you know, they go to Europe and because, uh, you know, in China, you have insanely, you know, powerful, like, uh, you know, a lot of population, right? So you have a lot of people. So in, in here, the, the same, the system works very differently. So in China, what you have is like, you know, the, the, the people are very cheap, which means like, you know, you have a lot of like uh, very service jobs. That are available for example like hey they can for example uber right there's a fucking this is like uber 30 you know fucking 4.0 style you know if you in europe or america right if you want to have a, like a pizza you know, <clears throat> send it right to your home <clears throat> deliver right to your home right to your doorway right you're gonna have you're gonna pay the the guy who deliver you the, the the pizza a lot of money you know it's not a lot but definitely you're gonna pay him some amount of money and you gotta have like a fee or whatever so generally like you know you, if you're like ac like your your ac is broken you call someone to fix it's gonna cost you some some sort of money right <clears throat> but in here it's very fucking different in here like if i order a pizza on door first of all i get a pizza in 10 minutes or in 20 minutes like guaranteed and it's it's fucking fresh as hop is it's fucking fresh as fuck and then I don't even have to pay him that much money. So, for example, if you if you deliver, like order a pizza online, right, like a bird or whatever, it's gonna cost you two dollars or like a, a five or you know four dollars, right? So you probably gonna pay him. I don't know how much because I not I, I never live in in the USA, but in here. So if I if you order like a pizza for like you know four dollars, you only gonna pay the guy who deliver you zero point two or zero point five percent. You know the dollar like the half cent of like fucking i don't know how the, the translator work it's not even one dollar it's very <clears throat> it's very cheap and the service is also very good you know <clears throat> that's the you know fucking advantage of you being here but also you enjoy the service right here right you enjoy the incredible fast and quality guarantee there's no, nothing gonna go wrong it's not like america right the the, the delivery guy has some kind of temper he's gonna fucking mad at you <clears throat> no 99 percent of the time i order pizza all the time i order like a food all the time on, on my phone right it's been fucking five or six years why well, I've been doing this? <clears throat> he is fucking my soul. But uh, not one of the time, like not even goddamn one time, the they fucked up. You know, like oh the delivery guy or the restaurant fucked up. The whole system is being so fucking giant, so fucking you know uh, big that you know they don't have a like they have a they don't have a lot of like uh, you know something that's gonna missing that's gonna be like you know fucking you know going wrong. <clears throat> no 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 that that's the just the fact of being here right that's the kind of you know advantage that you're gonna take but also meanwhile if you live in here and you go to work you find a job the same way that it's gonna go to you like the reason why you have this great quality of service is because you know <laughs> the workers sacrifice a lot not like workers the whole system suppressed like those you know people and if you go to job you're gonna be the deliverer guy Imagine you being like, oh, I need, to, I need to take this order, like a fucking this, you know, fucking two fucking five miles away. I don't even have a car. You know, you remember in here, you don't have a, like, a delivery guy. Probably don't usually drive a car. They probably drive like a motorcycle. So I think it's five, five, mile, five miles away, right? So I'm going to deliver, I'm going to be delivering this like a fucking food in 15 minutes. I mean, like, you know, I cannot really miss. I cannot really have any, uh, you know, accident because that's going to delay me. Imagine that, that. Imagine that's your whole schedule all day. That's fucking crucial. That's very fucking tired. But same way, like, you know, there is a good side and bad side. 
So if for me, I rather don't have this good side because like it, the bad side is way greater than the good side. For example, I don't. I rather I go out to to buy some food by myself instead of like you know those people, right? But you know, marketing is marketing. So the same goes to gaming too. You know, you you definitely get my point, right? For example, if I play Rockstar games, I feel fucking great. This game, who made those game, man? Jesus fucking Christ, this is unbelievably impossible to make. That you feel even like, right? Even you don't know, you know, game development, but you still feel like this game is fucking huge and it took a lot to make. That's the same goes to that too. You know, it do it did take a lot of things to efforts people to make. You know, a lot of employees complain about the reason why they complain about is but they they were asked to to be like to to stay in the you know to say stay in the office to work nonstop. Therefore, can give you can give all of us right the players this amazing experience. That's all. You know, same goes to front software. Whether you want to admit or not, the company is always going to be a company because you know, director and the CEO they have something that they want to do, right? I they have some dream. Oh, I want to be. I want to make Elden Ring. My, Miyazaki says, but who? How can I make Elden Ring? Okay, so、uh, I cannot make it by by my own. So I don't really have to. You know, like all the like the 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 re- repetitive. You know,、uh, you know, a process in this whole pr- you know project of making Elden Ring is gonna labor to someone else, their employees, and I gonna be the one who's being the head. You know, I gonna be the one who direct all the you know big directions, and that's it. That's what you do. It's not there's not something wrong with it. You know, that's just the fact. That's just like the human society at this point. You know, like you gotta do what you gotta do. In order to like you know, if I I complain about this, I fucking hate companies, but I still play their games. You know, I really don't want to have those kind of situation. But if you don't have those things, you're not gonna have some great. It's like there's always good side and bad side about everything, and、uh, that's really what I want to talk about. It, and you definitely get my point. And、uh, yeah, comment, like, subscribe, and、uh, see you in the next one.